Uh, I've been in the construction industry for 33 years. The, uh, I, don't, I don't think I really had a tension uh, between uh, construction and, and shifting into counseling. I would say it might actually be the opposite, that uh, my career in construction has prepared me uh, for counseling. Uh, I've learned uh, through my career in construction about uh, discernment. I think that I've gained wisdom. I've gained greater understanding of people, and that really feeds right into uh, what, what counseling is about. And so it was about five years ago that I started uh, thinking about what God had in store for me. This idea of helping men, uh, counseling men, kept on uh, coming back to me. But the more I prayed about it, uh, the more it became clear that uh, this is where God was leading me. And if I was truly going to uh, follow the calling, then I needed to commit myself to it. Yeah, the, the initial need that I saw, what I witnessed on <clears throat> these Emmaus weekends as a table leader, is that there were men coming into those weekends looking for something. I heard the struggle, I heard the pain, uh, I, saw, I saw men break down. Um, and it was not until I was in my 40s that I, I went on the, the walk to Emmaus and uh, really started to understand uh, grace and forgiveness. And when you recognize that and you go through that transformation of, of you know, accepting, truly accepting Christ into your life and recognizing uh, the sacrifice that was made for us, you can't help but become more merciful towards others. You know, when you're, when you're following your spiritual gift, uh, you need to be prepared to be uncomfortable because God is not always going to just lead us into a comfort zone. Uh, he led me out of a comfort zone uh, to be in His service. And so I think that what happens over time is although it was uncomfortable, I've become comfortable with being uncomfortable. I've been a work in progress. Um, I, I've been transformed uh, through, through my spiritual journey. God has, has literally changed the man that I am. Uh, he's changed my heart uh, and, and he's changed my level of compassion and I think I do uh, show much more mercy now than I used to.